we're gonna be friends. Special friends. I am back. Was there a... Boda, thank you for those. <laughs> thank you for those. I just... Hmm. Missed the whole shebang. Well. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. A jolly round of Chloe hearts and bloodbaths and kitty cats and chips and dips and all the other things. They're going directly towards you. I have returned with my cup of tea. Just chatting, are you sure about that? You sure, bud? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think something went down while I was not watching. Hmm? I'm suspicious. Suspicious, let me. <laughs> Let me use my deduction skills to figure out what happened. <laughs> You're busted. You are busted. Well, thank you for that. Appreciate it very much. Also, the sun is coming out. Wow, what a wild day it is. I would accuse Boda for giving me money. Never, although I am doing just that. You're accused. <laughs> uh, well, thank you, Boda. Appreciate it. And congrats to, to, to whoever got the subs. <laughs>
second I thought, who the hell is Tommy? Tommy? I don't know no Tommies. Boda, you're like, you're, you're everything. You're Boda, you're Tommy, you're Cat, you're all the things. You have like 27 names.
Well, thank you, Boda. Thank you. A person with actual art talent. It's just practice. I just wanted to say... Well, thank you. Thanks. Well, thanks, Art Punk. Thank you for the shiny, shiny, pretty things. Thank you for all the kind words. A jolly round of Chloe hearts going directly towards you. And until next time, have a delightful rest of your day. Thanks. You skimmed through like 20 pages. 20 pages of what? <laughs> of art on Twitch. Oh, people painting their chest. Huh. I mean, you know, each to their own. But frankly, it's pretty tricky to paint your chest on your own. That also takes a certain amount of skill. Well, it's very tricky to do sort of any body painting of any of any kind on yourself <laughs> because you're watching it in the mirror, so everything feels wonky and weird. You know, on paper at least, then you you see what's what's happening and you can see things properly. <clears throat> Why are they doing it on Twitch without practice? Well, that is their practice spot. But frankly, Twitch is not really a place um, that specifically asks people to be extremely skilled in order to stream, you know? You can also just have fun and learn and start from nothing and absolutely is, fi abs absolutely is fine. <laughs> Because there are kids on here. Oh, there is kids on here. Well, okay, that's a fair point, but what does that have to do with, with body painting? There are kids on here. Those dang kids getting in the way. <laughs> you know, Twitch is such a vast platform that um, when you come here, it's not like <clears throat> you're by default obligated to watch someone paint their body. You know, if you happen to be an underage child that shall not be exposed to any sort of flesh of any kind, then there are plenty of game streams, plenty of streams where there is no face camera of any kind, it's just a gameplay, so they are more than welcome to go there and shield their eyes from the sin. Um, but you know... Well, you're not really steering much up, you're just showing your your levels of maturity, that is all that you're doing here, my boy. My boy, my child, my precious individual.
I'm laughing a lot of the time. A lot of the time. Yes, including now. Oh my goodness, what are we gonna do? <clears throat> my voice is also going away. Shall we seek the hidden meaning in that as well? Boda, you are very correct in that observation. Well, I'm pretty familiar with the pickle situation on the wall, so you know, it's just it just brings me joy. It brings me joy. All right, Smoke, good night. Thanks for being here. Until next time, have a good one. Hospital. Hello, greetings, greetings. I'm doing delightful. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? Go and have your walk. You do that, yes. Get some fresh air. Get some fresh air. <laughs> Get some of that sweet, sweet oxygen in you. And, you know, see you later. I'll see you some other time, Lynn. Fresh ears are good. Mm, they are. Thanks, Ghost. Thanks. I'm quite fond of it as well. It's just a, a tea strainer, basically. A little tea strainer, dude. When you put some um, red fruit tea inside of him, it looks like he's bleeding, which is a very unfortunate sight. But other than that, a delightful piece of kitchen equipment. Yeah, yeah, it's it's loose leaf tea inside.
Feather, hello. That's so crazy. Well, thank you. Is that a little pyro turkey perching on the roof there? <laughs> sure, we can call it a pyro turkey. Right. Well, it's going to be a creature of some kind. I don't know what exactly, but it's going to be <laughs> a creature. Uh, pyro turkey. <laughs> That's quite something. I mean, it's so good now I will have to fucking call this piece Pyro Turkey. Hmm. <laughs> Thanks for that, Elsa Fischl. Thanks. What do you call this massive landscape of burning buildings? Pyro turkey. <laughs> it's it's the perfect name. Perfect. Just the greatest. Jackpot, hello, yes. Barb is finished. I have posted her on Instagram. She's in shop. He's, he's, he is, she's everywhere. And we are starting a new chapter. Mammoth, hello, greetings. How are you? Well, thank you, Inked. Thank you. those things. Yes, this is an educational channel after all.
Well, I mean, it has many different names, to be completely honest. I usually refer to them as just plugs. Um, but... Different places have different names. You like calling them artistic discs. <laughs> mm.
Weird question. But have I ever seen a building on fire? I have, yes. Um, Alias, hello. Saw those nipples on my Instagram. Great job. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. A joyous day to you as well. Until next time. I love how you always join the stream and a topic is nipples. <laughs> just an unfortunate coincidence. We literally just said the word nipples, like, for a whole three seconds, and that's, that's it. Uh, John C., hello, greetings, how are you? I'm using gouache, which is opaque watercolour. Makes you think of all the fires been happening near where you live. That's very unfortunate. I just wanted to say... Thanks. Thanks. Howdy. <laughs> howdy, howdy. Well, hello, Matt. Greetings. <clears throat> A jolly round of Chloe hearts going directly towards you. Thank you for the shiny, shiny, pretty things. And also, hello. Welcome. Hope you're doing all right. Hello, Smurf. Hello, hello. How are you?
Where's Dingus? Well, Dingus is all finished and done. I've posted it. I have posted it on my Instagram, and we are moving on to new things. Rocking this party eight days a week. That's the only way how to live your life. The best way. Is there going to be a Halloween related painting? Well, to be fair, we've had pretty much every single painting um, throughout this month, sort of Halloween themed. They have been a little creepy, weird creatures. Well, in this painting, we will have some weird, funky creatures as well. The burning city is, you know, I think it's going to be the least of uh, the least of anyone's concern who who is still stuck in this town. Double hello greetings. Fire is not what's going to kill you in that town, no. <laughs> the fire, I mean, you will be pretty, pretty uh, able to escape the fire, I think. But other things, not so much. Isn't there going to be a very macho firefighter going to rescue everyone? Absolutely not, no. It's just you on your own. No one's coming to save you. It's, it's you versus whatever is out there. We're talking about post-apocalyptic scenario here. Every man is on their own.
The apocalypse is no excuse to have a lacking fire department. Ooh, you're a tough critic, aren't you? <laughs> the fire department should be working throughout the apocalypse. What do you even think? <laughs> they are not working through the apocalypse. No one's working. holiday <laughs> it's a holiday someone accidentally set a christmas tree on fire and all hell broke loose someone burnt the turkey and hence why this is <laughs> pyro turkey all comes together this entire picture comes together. It's Pyro Turkey. That's why the name. <laughs> you predicted it. Also, by all, you predicted it. You called it. No, but thank you also very much for the raid. <laughs> welcome, welcome to this place. Hope you're hope you're doing all right. How was your stream? Let us know. What did you do? Hello, Raiders. Greetings. We're just working on a post-apocalyptic scenario here. <laughs> Welcome to Pyro Turkey. You did art. Nice, nice. What kind of art did you do? Oh, working with ink. Ooh. Cool. Digital art with chaotic unfinished energy. <laughs> that's the, that's exactly what we like to hear. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate the follow, thank you. Hello, Marvel. You have a fairly serious thing to tell me, ask me about. Well, spit it out, spit it out.
already knew that it's gonna be some sort of bullshit nonsense. Like 99.5% of the time, it's some bullshit nonsense. A raging... <laughs> oh no, it's not bullshit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I thought you were talking about this thing. I was like, yep. You had a raging grease fire in your house. That is not bullshit. It was me misreading it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, let's rewind. A raging grease fire in your house. Did you cause it? What caused it? How did that happen? <laughs> Who is there? <laughs> I was pretty sure uh, Meow was referring to this. But no. Marvel's talking about his own house. Okay. So... You were able to keep calm and carry the pan outside, uh, okay, outside and smother it. Right. Well, that's quite something. Gotta be careful with that grease. Hello, Eric. And also, hi, Sky. Greetings to both of you, dears. You're pissed. Sick. Join the club. What's up? Nobu, feel free to share. Yes, go for it. You're guessing that the smoke upstairs will dissipate. Well, I mean, maybe try opening a window or something, but... You know, doesn't sound great. Your kid is home from school for three days because some little stinker was tested positive, right? Um, and you're already in fumes with that other bitch dit of an app the school uses for assignments. Right. Yikes. So you are fueled with rage right now. Ooh, a little creepy spoopy guy. That is real cool. Like a creepy Pokemon lurking in the shadows, ready to attack. Nice. It is a Pokemon. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not too familiar with Pokemon, but it gave me enough Pokemon vibes. I was like, yep, that looks like a Pokemon. <laughs> that looks like a Pokemon. You're pissed as well, but in a British sense. 
But what is up with you, Sky? Partying hard, or what? You mean... Frickety fracketing, click my kid's name, and then you click homeworks, and the shitload of an app throws all of school's announcements at you, most of which you had zero to do with you, your kid, not to mention homework. Infuriating indeed. Hmm. Well, I mean, does your child really need to do the assignments? Is it really that important? Who knows? Not parting, just ca- oh, just a, ca a cash- a cash time. All right, I approve of that. You're wading through a shitload of notices. You didn't need to find the little s snippets that are not even chronologically listed to find the ones that are due today. Or were due yesterday. I mean, in that case, you if they are not due anything anymore. If they were due yesterday, well, that ship has sailed moving, moving on, looking only forward. <laughs> Fine, Eric. No more counseling for you. We're just gonna listen. We're just gonna listen and, you know, not say a word. <laughs> all, all we're gonna say is, yep, yep, that sucks. Sucks. Very much so. I think we're gonna be friends. Special friends. Boda, thank you oh so very much for gifting that sub to Jackpot. Appreciate it. A jolly round of Chloe hearts going directly towards you. Thank you very much. Also some kitty cats, blood baths, all the good stuff. Thanks! Prop of birth control, oh my goodness. Oh, Boda, thank you. Thank you for gifting that sub to Nobu as well. Well, very generous of you. Thank you very much. More Chloe hearts? Uh, let me whip out that underpant emote. Where is it? Underpant emote? And some other things going directly towards you. <laughs> Enjoy the underpants. I hope they fit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hello, undisclosed username. Uh, greetings, greetings. How are you doing? I hope you're doing all right on this jolly merry uh, Friday. I think it's a Friday. Very nice, good fit. <laughs> nice and snug. Um, at least you're not the only one struggling. The history test is due today. Has many parents confused, apparently. So far, two of them have sent their kids test into the wrong file area place where the whole, whole school can see it. Hmm. Right. Maybe they are flexing. It's like, our kids know everything. Yeah, well, you know, everyone has to adapt. It is confusing, you know? Teachers are confused. Parents are confused. Children are just running wild. It's a mayhem. It's a freaking mayhem. Dramatic painting. Yeah, it is pretty dramatic. I'm not gonna lie. I absolutely despise the color scheme so far. <laughs> I don't know why I made such choices, but maybe I can pull it together somehow. But uh, thus far, you know, I am smiling very much, but internally I'm just cursing <laughs> to the absolute max. But it's fine. It's a Friday. Everything's all right. You know. <laughs> Shivers down my spine. <laughs> spooky, spooky, spook. Internal bitch titting. Okay, that is what's happening. Internal bitch titting. I'm smiling upside down. <laughs> you did it with Barbara Ann. But then again, Barbara Ann was... Uh, at least Barbara Ann started on a good foot. But right now, I'm just... I'm not gonna lie. It's the, it's the freaking blue tone that is throwing me off. I... I have very negative feelings towards it. I don't know what it is about this particular blue, but I very much hate it. I <laughs> just hate the way it looks. I hate that blue, the body of a die. I don't know. If only every kid was a kazoo kid, at least they say thanks. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess if I'm dedicated enough, I could go over the blue with some like freaking pitch black. Like, I don't, like, no care in the world, just pitch black. To be fair, maybe that is exactly what I should do. You know, like, save myself, save my sanity. We're going in. <laughs> Ladies, we're going in. <laughs> Well, thank you, Brush Princess. Thank you. We are going in. Buckle up. Wow, beauty. A bit of pitch black never hurt no one, you know? Yeah, buddy, this is... This is where it's at, you know? This is where it's at, my lads. You like the blue. Well, it's not about you, Sky. <laughs> Ooh. Well, Nobu, thanks for being here. Thank you for the raid and enjoy the rest of your day. Until next time. That is true. It is Friday. Cyberbully Friday, so, you know, I need to also buckle up. 
<laughs> it's a fry to buckle up, everyone. Can you do washes with this sort of paint? Just wash over the sky with a brown or something. It's not really gonna work out that way. Things are gonna get very blotchy and splotchy. So we have to go opaque. Oh, so I'm glad you like it. I'm very, very happy with that picture as well. <laughs> it has become, I think, one of my favorite pictures ever. The only thing missing is Luna. She was not part of the photo shoot, sadly. But then again, she's such a diva. No one can force her to do anything, so, you know. What do I do with all my paintings? Well, if I'm happy enough with the end result, then I put them up for sale in my shop. Opaque is the easy escape for the artist. Absolutely, yes. Yes. That is exactly how it is. And the two seance. Which is delightful. You missed the demon girl I made earlier this month. Yeah, that was... Um, I'm, a, I'm assuming you're referring to Bob's ex-wife. <laughs> because she is a snack and a half. She is a whole, a whole meal, to be completely honest. <laughs> Faded, hello, greetings. How are you? Why is she touching that eel like that? I don't like it. It's it's her friend, okay? It's her underwater puppy. <laughs> it's just petting the puppy. Let her be. Barb and Dingus, they have a special chemistry going on. Let them be. <laughs> Why is she touching the eel like that? That's just... <laughs> what even is that question? To be fair, there are some Latvian, um, like old school Latvian rhymes and songs and whatnot, where basically they are talking about all kinds of eels and it's mostly referred to as, as a penis. So, you know, the sentence, why is she touching the eel like that? That brings a whole new meaning to the, to the whole shebang when you look at it from like an old school Latvian <laughs> perspective. 
<laughs> are Latvians into eels? Well, I guess it really, really depends. <laughs> really depends. Did I just say Latvians have the same name for eel and penis? No. What I was saying that in sort of old Latvian songs and folk tales and, and whatnot, sometimes, a lot of the times, <laughs> when they are talking about eels, they actually mean the penis. The word is not the same. It's like... Um, what well, will be the, the equivalent in English? I don't know, can't think of one. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, it's <clears throat> it's not like a direct sort of a, d a dirty metaphor. <laughs> yes. There is one particular that comes to my mind where <laughs> Where, where um, a guy has a golden eel um, basically wiggling in his pants. That is, that is sort of the song. <laughs> a dude with a golden eel wiggling in his pants. Don't ask more questions. I don't have the answers. I don't. <laughs> I don't. But, you know, old Latvians, eh? Well, I mean, there are plenty of sort of old Latvian songs and whatnot about sex. But it's not directly said, it's sort of an indirect... An indirect thing, but, you know... The, the old classic, eh? Sex and music, surely that's banned by now. Absolutely. There is no sex these days. <laughs> Can we get a golden eel emote this year instead of a pickle? <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that would be quite something. Quality entertainment, real quality entertainment. <laughs> an eel emoji would be far better than an eggplant if you think about it. I mean, far better? I don't know. It certainly would be different. What would make it better, though? I mean, I think both of them are equally as odd in their own ways.
How then France and nursery rhyme? <laughs> Medieval body song about priest having sex. A nursery rhyme. Uh-huh. <laughs> cool. The word for cucumber is feminine, and if you just chop off the feminine ending and make it masculine, it becomes the word for eel. Ooh, it has all come for full circle now. The eel sort of moving of its own accord is kind of disturbing when used as an emote in place of an eggplant. Or do you you don't want a sentient, <laughs> a sentient penis wiggling around? Is that not your ideal world, Eric? Am I gonna get her hiccups now? Oh no. Let's hope not. <laughs> Let's hope not. That would be very unfortunate. No, I think we're good. <laughs> we're good. Try getting uh, really scared upside down while drinking water from the wrong side of the glass. I'll stop the hiccups. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's do just that. I'm gonna take another break, refill my cup of tea, so stay tuned, I will return in a moment.
Candy wrapper porn? I mean, that's a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> that's ASMR. Are you not feeling the, the A and the S and the M and the R? Those emote uh, modifications are just something else. <laughs>
the heck? What? <laughs> is that a penis guard or what is that? That is nowhere you put your hat. That's not the right placement. <laughs> you can leave your hat on. <laughs> oh, gee. Well, that took a turn. It's a sneaky hat, a sneak sneakily placed hat. Where's the hat? Are you on mobile, Eric? have an, a crying animal at the door, just a second. <laughs> Hello. 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 Like mother, have you completely lost it? <laughs> You're a cutie patootie. My cat's not impressed. You're not impressed? Just a little impressed. He's slightly impressed. Look at him. Well, her, hello, Tor Toron. Hello, greetings. You want to lay on the table? What do you want? God. You're a chunk. Don't step on that. Don't sleep on... Oh my goodness. He opened the freaking calculator again. Stop opening the calculator. You don't know how to do math. <laughs> God, the, the cat wants to math. <laughs> the cat is like, I math now. <laughs> I, yes, it does. I don't know which key, to be completely honest. I don't know which one. But the cat somehow managed to press it every single goddamn time. So, you know, that's cool. Mm. Ask the cat Tut. Mind helping me out here? Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Sky. Thank you. <laughs> Cats are trying to communicate with calculator. Mm. Also, Petal, no. The man who press it every time seems like something to you. Well, you might be onto something. Put some tin foil hat. <laughs> mm. I love to see you. That mood is lit. It very much is indeed, yes. Very lit. I can't see it. I'm not gonna accept the truth that the cats are communicating with me through the bloody calculator from all things. No. Avertag, hello. We have a disaster. We have an absolute disaster. But you know, I'm trying to pull it together somehow. Hope you're doing all right. This is this is a new painting, yeah. Um, we'll see how it's gonna turn out. <laughs> this, I mean, I don't wanna, you know, knock it on the ground already, but I'm not sure if we're gonna pull it pull it through, and and if I'm gonna be too pleased with the end result. I'm not even sure if we're gonna get to the end result, to be completely honest. <laughs> but we'll see. Catspiracy theories, wow. I'm a professional catspiracy theorist. Thank you very much. Mm. 
This might be the first serious thing you say here. It looks nice, the painting. Well, thank you. But we'll see. We'll see at the end. What's exactly the idea and accident at the local pumpkin festival? Pyrotarchy. <laughs> That's the gist. <laughs> A turkey on, in the Christmas Eve caught on fire in someone's oven, causing an absolute mayhem in the city. But no, um, it it sort of sort of it sort of is um, very similar to to the nesting place painting that I did, the the one with the spider's nest, um, like suspended amongst ruins words can't find them so it's take on that but like a little different my fight is called raptured <laughs> you like the pyro turkey idea mm. I'm glad. some odd creatures yes we will hello you 43 greetings greetings I'm doing great thank you very much how are you hope all is well and fine and dandy It's weekend. That is true, yes. Weekend has arrived. Well, yeah, I rarely use this color scheme. Mostly, I guess, because I sort of partially despise it. It, it really doesn't sit too well with me. Um, <laughs> but, you know, I will try to pull this through and, and get to the finish line in one way or another.
be, okay? Let me stew in my own sorrow and sadness. <laughs> uh. <laughs> right, well, to be fair, um, I would be much happier if Um, if I would like what I see on the paper, but it's just, you know, it's just, no, I don't know. It could be because I'm not used to the, these kinds of colors in combination with each other, so I'm already thrown off by that, and it just doesn't feel right. Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. It's gonna be Right, let me just add more black and, uh, you know, hope for the best. Let's do that. That sounds like a plan. I wonder if this is going to be another hidden dragon type of painting. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know what this is going to be. Toot, what do you think this is going to be? Can you not see the pyro turkey? <laughs> Asking a fair question. Can you not see the pyro turkey? Adrian, hello, greetings. I'm doing great. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? Sort of like that, Adrian, yes.
I don't seem happy with and because I'm not. I'm contemplating all of my options as of right now. That is what's happening. Well, it has a lot of issues. And I'm not sure if I can... I'm not sure if I can successfully fix them without restarting the painting from scratch. Hmm. Like the colors are throwing me off. It's very dark. I mean, it's great, but you know, a bit too much darkness, I guess, is sometimes too much. Hmm. Toot, what do we do? <laughs> Another cat in the window. Well, to be fair, what I would do instead of tossing this piece of paper out, I might just try to wash off the top layer of the paint. Because, I mean, it's nice paper. I don't want to waste the paper, I'm not gonna lie. Yes, I remember when I just hated the blue. Those were the days. Those were the days I wish I could bring them back, but <laughs> sadly, mm, yeah. Mm. Talk through it. There are just so many areas that I don't particularly particularly enjoy however i'm also not quite sure how to change them and what would make them better decisions a eh? decisions Put your know-how. <laughs> That's like, I don't know, mother. <clears throat> it's better to work from, from dark to light, especially in oil, because when you start with too much white and try to darken it, you end up with grayish mud. Right. Well, I'm not working with oil, so that's not really an issue here. Likely reminds you of that sketch I did in Eric's book of the robot with a hellish scape in the background. Oh, there was one like that, yeah. There was one. <laughs> I was like, what, what kind of, what, what did I do there? Yeah, I didn't paint the, or draw the robot. Um, So there is that. It had it had a fiery scene in the background, right? All right, that is the case. Yeah, I think this one, I might just wash off all the paint and, you know, use the paper for something else. <laughs> use the paper for something else. We could do that. That's an option. What's cheaper, paper or paint? Both are expensive as fuck. <laughs> so, you know. Joys of life. The book is at work. Oh, you have left it there. Eric, how dare you? How dare you leaving the book there? What if someone takes it, this valuable, precious item? <laughs> 
I'm gonna scoop it up and put it back into a tube. That sounds like a plan. Sleeping on it? I don't think that I'm gonna wake up with some, you know, ideas how to fix it. I think my best bet is to wash off as much paint as I can and I still think I, you know, I could redo the whole um, landscape and, you know, keep the subject matter, but just go for a different color scheme, something that floats me boat a little bit more. It doesn't sit, doesn't, this just doesn't sit right. This is too much blue and too much weirdness. And I would like to reduce that. We are at that, we are at the stage of I'm gonna fucking wash that paint off. I don't, I have no god anymore. I'm on a rampage. You're curious of the point of no returns. I decided on calling it. But then again, you don't want to press me. Well, I'm just not pleased with this. And I don't see how I could get it to a point where I am happy with it. Because the colors ain't gonna change, and they sort of, the more I look at this, the more they, they scream at me <laughs> and are like, we're not right. So, oh, Eric's <laughs> freaking, Eric, are you okay? It's like, just do it, man. Just do it, you know? You can do it. What's the worst that's gonna happen? You're gonna ban be banned from here? <laughs> now, I'm gonna wash it. That's just gonna be the easiest. You know, painting over is like, let me go and try it out. I'll be right back. You will see in real time if it's a success or not. And if I fail, well, then there is gonna be a fail on camera. So stay tuned for that. I think we're gonna be friends. Special friends.
we have a slight um a slight what's the word stain on the paper but most of the paint is gone and once the paper is dry is that not a crevice crevasse well the paper is a little bent because it's very much wet however uh oh you're talking about other crevices and crevasses what did i do i destroyed the city i am the pyro turkey now i am the pyro turkey <laughs> So this is basically now just slightly stained paper, but I can paint easily on top of it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> there is no yikes. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't yikes at me. It was in the shower. It was under a shower head. I gave it a, a nice little rinse. The colors look a bit faded. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna go over everything. I'm starting from square one. I'm ignore all of this. This is gonna be all covered up. We don't care about this anymore. I mean, I didn't care about it to begin with, I feel like, so everything's gonna be fine and dandy. This looks like an American Wild West land, almost like an American Wild West landscape. Almost, yes. Almost. It's not my cup of tea, you know. <laughs> but the turkey! <laughs> mm. So you know. Now we, we can start again. It's great. Paper is gonna dry, it's gonna settle, everything's gonna be fine. No need to worry, my lads, no need to worry. Everything is under control. It always is. Here's to fresh starts, exactly, cheers to that. You know, if something's bothering you, Fix it. And this entire thing was bothering me. <laughs> it was bothering me real good. We just washed the paper. Absolutely. We, if anything, I killed the, the, the city fire. You know, I am, I am the fire department. I am the pyro turkey and I am the fire department at the same time. Oh, Sky, thank you for the sub. I didn't even notice. <laughs> As I commented, what the fuck is that? Thank you, Sky, for your hand slippage that I didn't notice. Oh, look at this jolly color, a, a nice Latvian gray. That's exactly what I want in my life. <sighs> no, it's no 